What's going on? I want to bring you guys this story because I want to make a point with group economics and what happens on these streets affect us all, Chicago. Here it is. We're talking in the African American community, we're talking 90% of us are renting. That's horrible. I'm going to bring you guys this story. This man was found after he'd been going, he went missing August 1st. They found him October 1st, and the two who allegedly killed him are Elijah Green and Tony Green. They're brothers. They also lived with a roommate. Now, they're said to have killed him because of rent owed. And I want to point out that a lot of foreigners, they realize how cheap it is to buy houses in the black community because... We don't support our businesses in our communities. And what happens is the children and the people in the community can't find jobs. So now they have to sell drugs, rob houses, kill each other. Property value goes skyrocketing down. The people inside the uh, community with, with no jobs, there's no opportunity. That's when the, the crime goes up, the property value goes down. All these foreigners... And everybody outside the community are buying up all the property. Not only do we not own the uh, businesses in our community, we don't even own the property in our community. And that's one of the first things we must start at. We must start at ownership and to stay out of debt. No matter what it is we got to do. Now, three grown men living in one apartment and they can't afford the rent. And allegedly, this story is going to go... That they ended up lowering this old man to the house. He's 76. He's the landlord. Doesn't live in the community. But owns the property. They lowered him to the building. The premise of a leaky roof. That the roof was leaking. Because they can't pay the rent. And allegedly one of them came behind and choked him. Now, I want young people to understand. That. Stop doing these crimes if you can't do the time. Not only that, somebody's going to trick on you. And I remember when I was young, I used to think that, oh, nobody would ever trick on me. Well, that's the first thing people are going to do. The roommate ended up telling the police, hey, here's what happened. Um, I remember um, when they found this guy in front of the house. Now, they're going to find him. They're going to stuff him. They don't drive him 10 miles away, 20 miles away. They stuff him. In the sewer in front of the property. I also want to say this. To my young brothers and sisters. Stop smoking that weed. You don't know what they're putting in this weed. I've seen crimes out here that are just too stupid to be true. I, I, I do. I've seen crimes that just happen to be too stupid. Here it is. 22 and 25 a mother lost two children. And they lost his family. Don't get me wrong. I am. Um, it is a sad tragedy that his family has to go through a senseless loss. Here it is. You didn't live 76 years to get murdered over. How much was his rent? $850? $950? Maybe two months rent? Not even $2,000? And this man's life is only worth $2,000? Now you're going to spend the rest of your life. First degree murder is what they're facing. This is my life in the shot. So let me bring you guys this. And let me bring you guys this. Charged, Charged with first-degree first murder and the death of a suburban landlord who had been missing for nearly two months. NBC5's Christian Farr is in the newsroom with the story. Christian. Patrick Brothers Tony and Elijah Green had been denied bail today by a Cook County judge. Prosecutors say the brothers spent days planning to kill the missing landlord, and an Internet search led investigators to them. These are two brothers that have expressed a complete lack of morality. Shantan Ketheretti has been trying to understand why someone would kill his father. It's really hard for me, I guess, to imagine uh, what life experiences led a family to uh, 
take the life of a 76-year-old disabled man. Over the weekend, brothers Elijah and Tony Green had been arrested and charged with first-degree murder for the killing of Ketheretti's father, Vasudeva Reddy Ketheretti, who has been missing since August 4th. His body had been discovered Friday in a sewer in Inglewood, right in front of an apartment building the 76-year-old owned. Both defendants were involved in the planning of the victim's murder. The day before the elder Cathareti had been reported missing, prosecutors say the brothers who rented an apartment from him lured the grandfather to the building by telling him that he needed to fix a leaky roof. The victim arrived at the residence and Tony Green led the victim to the back of the residence. Elijah Green snuck up behind the victim put him in a chokehold and cut off his ability to breathe until the victim died. Prosecutors say the brothers dumped the elder Ketheretti's body in that sewer and then stole $1,600 from his car. A witness led investigators to the brothers. It was discovered that a witness conducted Google searches on a phone number registered to Tony Green about how long it takes for a body in sewer water to decompose. I'm hoping in their jail sentence that you know maybe they'll find some, some humanity. Prosecutors say both brothers have pointed the finger at each other when it comes to the person they say choked the elder Ketheretti. Again, the brothers have been denied bail. They will be back in court later this week. In the newsroom, Christian Farr, NBC5 News. Thank you. And so, look how stupid that crime has to be. Here it is. You're on your own phone. And I can't count how many times I've seen this. Even the internet search. Don't you guys understand they can see any and everything you guys do on them cell phones? How stupid can you get? Let me understand, understand this. They can record your conversation with your phone off, on, it doesn't matter. They have their microphone. They can tap it to that. This is their device. They send you this. It's not Apple and iPhone or all, all this and Android. They're sending you. The government puts out what they want and regulates everything so everything that you search it got to go to their service to Google service and they see from that IP address what's been searched stop smoking that weed I don't know what they're putting in it it makes our children dumb as a box of rocks um, I'm seeing crimes that make absolutely no sense why not just take that eviction how do you think you're going to live in the property, kill the landlord? Don't you know that you're the first person they're going to understand who done it? You're the first person they're coming after. A landlord and his tenants. Gee, who do you think they're going to find first? You're the prime suspect. And now they're tricking on each other. They're pointing the finger at both of them. He did it. No, he did it. No, he did it. He did it. Because they know they're about to do life without parole. One of them, the older brother, should just take that hit and say, hey, it's mine. I'll take that hit. Sad tragedy for the uh, families, for everyone. This is why I say we must. This is where you get crime. Anytime you get poverty, you get crime in the community. We're losing our brothers and sisters left and right due to killing each other. Due to killing each other. Um, and, and, and this is why it's so important for us to invest in our communities. I want to uh, bring you guys this um, the, the, the news story. Um, and, and it's a tragedy. Hold on, let me see. I also want to bring you guys a story of um, Michigan. They did a sweep out in Michigan, found... Um, 150 kids are um, missing. One thing that we must do is take back our communities and start policing our own communities. Um, go back to policing that because we know the police in our communities are not for us. We cannot call the police for everything because we know they're not going to ever be on our side. You know they're after and attacking our children. I just did a story yesterday about a police officer shooting an unarmed teenage, young black teenage boy in the back of the head and got off even though the department of justice um the independent review authority board recommended charges being brought against this officer and they said we don't want to charge our officer it's our officer we are on his side he killed a young black teen boy let him go 
Quan McDonald, they wanted to let him go. The mayor, the um, police chief, all of them saw that tape, wanted to let um, Jason Van Dyke go until the activists mobbed together. So this is something we must do. One thing I was saying about protesting is I didn't like it. And I must admit that protesting um, did get that Jason Van Dyke thrown in jail. And that trial brought the trial. The mayor tried to cover it up because the police officer was white. The team was a black boy. The police chief tried to cover that murder up because the officer was white. The rest of the police officers who saw it and bear witness. The whole the police, the Chicago Police Department, one of the racists in the country, tried to cover that murder up because Laquan McDonald was a young black teen. Let's stop sugarcoating it and pretending racism doesn't exist. Ask Anthony Brian Logan, who would try to tell you racism doesn't exist, what are you talking about? Let's try to talk to Jesse Peterson, who says racism doesn't exist, what are you talking about? You obviously never lived in Chicago. you never seen the looks they give. This is the discrepancy between the police. So, we have to police ourselves, police our own children out there in the streets. OGs, older elders, when y'all see these young brothers messing up, Get on them for cussing. Get on them for fighting each other. Brutalizing each other. And going outside the community to spend your money. Elders are just as um, guilty as the shorties. Because the, 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 we got elders and older brothers and, and our generation who didn't teach these shorties right. And we going outside of our community, spending all our money, taking their jobs. These shorties should be going to the corner store to get jobs. And we have not done that for them. We have not created jobs for them to go to. We have not created created jobs in the community where we patronize that uh, business enough to where it can hire the people in the community. We letting all these foreigners own property. And can we go in a community owned property? We let all these foreigners come in our community, own all the properties, own all the businesses. Now, we can't even give our children jobs. We can't even get them jobs cutting grass because of everybody else outside the community own everything in the community. That's why we are losing. This is why we are losing our children in every way, shape, form, or fashion. The future for us, if we don't turn around soon... We're going to be on endangered species list. we in trouble. We must turn it around and we can't do it. We have to teach our youngsters better. A lot of the older cats who are 30, 40 plus, if they ain't with it, then they ain't with it. They too far gone. You tell them to shop within the business in your community that hire from the community, live in the community, pay tax in the community so they can get these shorties jobs so they don't have to go out here and commit crimes like this senseless act. Our children aren't bad murderers, killers, as they're portrayed in the media. As we see they, them doing, they're just misguided. And when it comes to poverty, and when you're not eating, you, you resort to senseless stuff. Not saying that it's, it's, it's justified because that ain't justified. You can get out there, get two, three jobs at McDonald's to hustle up $800 a month. Come on. And it's three grown folks. Anyway, I want you to like, comment, let me know what you think about this video. Peace, peace.